All right, let's go ahead and look at the first special quadrilateral we're going to have, which is the trapezoid here. Uh, trapezoid uh, is just simply a quadrilateral with exactly one pair of parallel sides. Uh, pretty straightforward, uh, but the trapezoid itself does have some properties. Well, let's look at the parts first. So the parts of a trapezoid. Um, so let me draw a trapezoid here. I want to have exactly one pair of parallel sides. This side and this side is parallel. I'm going to call this a base. I'm also going to call this up here also a base. So both of this, this and this are a base. This is a leg and this is a leg. So these are our legs. This right here we're going to call a base angle. And this also we will call a base angle. So these are the parts of a trapezoid. Um, so we have our bases here. Our bases are what's actually the two sides that are parallel. Our legs are the two sides that are not parallel. And then of course all angles really are base angles. But you have to you have to stop and think, okay, is it going to be the base angle along the long side of the parallel line or the base angle along the short side of the parallel line? All right, so Let's look at the properties of a trapezoid. Um, the trapezoid itself, our bases are parallel and the same side interior angles are supplemental. So if I were to draw a trapezoid again, and we call this parallel and this parallel, um, if we actually look at this angle here and this angle here, if we add those, let's call this a trapezoid A, B, C, D. And if I did, um, the measure of angle A plus the measure of angle B, that's actually going to equal 180 degrees because they're supplementary. Now I can ask several different